This is Jazzy and she's in labour now. Her temperature's dropped and she's panting and shivering, which is signs of, of labour. She's also got dilated pupils, a little bit pale because her circulation's a bit different. And uh, she's, she's very, very needy, so she's wanting lots of attention, aren't you, Jazz? This is a good girl. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to be a good mummy. I knew. So we've had lots of false stops and starts. So usually when the temperature drops, they whelp within 24 hours. Uh, so it's hard to tell how long she will be. She's a good so girl. This is Jasmine giving birth to her second pup just after seven in the morning. She's cleaning the puppy up. Uh, the, you can see there's a little bubble produced there and the puppy's still in the sack. So the, it's best to like leave mum to it, but I've got to make sure that she's going to clear the puppy's airways. And if I need to intervene, I do. Uh, sometimes she gets tired and she does appreciate me helping. So puppy number one there, that one was born just after four in the morning. She took a nice leisurely break. She didn't, she didn't continue. Um, she, she took a bit of time out, dear of her. But puppy one is, um, is suckling from her and moving about and helping, getting in the way. This um, this is um, clearing the airways of the puppy. You can start seeing the movement. See, I'm pinching the nose and making sure the throat's clear to make sure the fluid's away. I'm rubbing the puppy. Stimulate the airways. I want to hear the puppy cry a little bit so you know that the lungs are clear. So you just doing a little bit of a cloth to rub on the puppy's nose. Jasmine's is helping, but she's mostly interested in, in severing the cord and, and having the placenta. So um, I just want to make sure that this, this birth goes smoothly. I'm clearing the nasal passage. So the first two puppies were liver and white dogs. Jasmine's uh, chewing at the cord now, so it's better to tear the cord and it's, it's, it's better to let the bitch have it. It looks quite rough, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually hurt the puppy. The pup's starting to, um, starting to get air into lungs, just give it a bit more stimulation. Clear away that fluid. one coming to help again he had a habit of that he kept going back to his mum's back end like he wanted to get back in again Too. Move him up to the front so it's easier for her to clean him and it gives him an access so he can go and choose to suckle. They seem to have a natural ability to seek mum out and start rooting for her, for her nipple. So here we are, Jasmine sitting up crowd. These other two pups, they've recovered. You see how much more active that they are. She's contemplating puppy number three now. She does this very subtly. So if you weren't watching her, you wouldn't know it was happening. She seems to do one, one to four pushes, gentle ones, 
and uh, the next pup comes along. So try not to interfere as much as possible, but there are times where she does she does appreciate a helping hand. So it's not the best of camera angle, but you get to see. So this is puppy puppy three coming along. So you see the back legs. This is quite a big pup. Comes in comes out breech, which is quite normal for dogs. So um, she's taken the sack away, and you see the puppy puppy gasping there. Well, I cut in a little bit on that video because I felt I needed to interfere and help. So you start seeing the puppy coming around a bit more. The other two are quite active. So this one is also a liver and white puppy dog. number three. He's got a nice big blaze on him. Good colour to him. He's the biggest in the litter. He weighs 480 right, grams. You see how quite robust he is, considering he came out gasping there. He's um, he's handling it very well. So this is cutting into another puppy it delivery. Does. There's a bit of a gap in between the in, in between the um, whelping. Jazz seems to like to take her own sweet time. She can be anything from seven minutes to three hours between puppies. But uh, it's not three hours of, of pushing and contractions. It's her taking a deep sleep and a nice little rest and then wait for the next one to naturally come along. So she's lost a bit of fluid there, so I've put a towel down. I don't want to move her and disturb her while she's settling in there. Cleaning up her existing pups. You see her panting, that's when she's kind of working. It's usually a sign where she's, the contractions are happening. Contractions aren't as strong as she goes along, but you can sometimes see the ripple across the tummy. She's a really good mum cleaning up her pups. And then we're cutting in now, so this is the quick turn along. Here we go. There's, um, Bit of a hard video okay, to see. Still in the sack. In a minute, you'll see this little packaged up little ball of a pup. There we go. Got to break open the All sack and then try and free up the chip. He's breathing. So she's not showing much interest in this Mum's pup, supposed so I'm to start to the tear away the, the sack always, membrane. So I've got to watch this um, my main aim is to clear Nicely the puppy's airway. So Jasmine started towards the end, wanting to gain more for the placenta than she did to the puppy. So I'm I'm clearing this puppy and helping rub the pup. Okay, that one's a little liver and white bitch. I say little, but she's quite a nice size. This one, she's very heavily marked, and uh, she's quite a, quite a keen character. She had a little bit of fluid on. Um, a little bit of fluid on her lungs, so I'm, I'm pinching her nose to clear it away and giving her a good rub. It looks quite rough, but you, you do need to give enough force to help, help the puppy along. Again, Jasmine's more focused on the back end, so I've stepped in a little bit. Let mum clean her. Did a little gasp there, that means she's clearing her lungs a little bit. So she was born at 10 to 9 in the morning. It's alright, Jess. It's alright. Now we're cutting in on the another birth that's happening. Again, a bit of an amateur video, but this puppy um, slides out backwards. Puppy number one joins in again, as usual. I have to quickly whip him out of the way. Um, this one is, appears to be quite a big pup. Again, I have to quite tear at the sack. It's not actually as easy as it looks, but my main aim is clearing the airways here. 
this one arrives shortly afterwards, within seven minutes of um, the last one. So I'm rubbing, rubbing away at the airways to help clear away the fluid. There we go, puppy's recovering, coming around quite nicely. Doing this one-handed, but if I needed to, I would have put the phone down and used two hands, but I wanted to film the experience and I knew Jazz was watching too and helping. Here is Jazz cleaning up her puppies. Didn't film puppy number six. and She, she needed a little bit of help when she, uh, she was born. She was a black and white bitch and final birth was at 12.45 p.m. on the 1st of June. Uh, she weighed 325 grams and the lightest pup. The heaviest pup was um, born 7.28 in the morning and he was 480 grams. So this is Jazz um, just taking a respite after delivering all her puppies. Um, cheeky little pup number one that she's looking at there. Keeps going back around to her back end. He's quite a character. He's first born and uh, he, he relentlessly keeps trying. It's almost like he wants to get back in. So uh, we've had uh, six puppies in total. Four liver and white boys, uh, one liver and white girl, and one black and white girl, or bitches as they they call them. So the the pups are all good, healthy weights. They they're looking good. They're plumped up. They're all feeding well. And Jasmine's been a very attentive mum. So she's panting here because she's having after contractions. So her womb's shrinking down, and she's she's recovering from from the birthing process. Jasmine's been a wonderful mum so far. She's cleaned up all her puppies. They've got nice big milk bellies. They're a little bit punch drunk and sleeping it off. She's cleaning them regularly, checking in on them. Very proud of Jasmine. If you've enjoyed uh, following us so far, I will be posting regular updates, videos online, on social media and mostly on YouTube. So please remember to subscribe and follow and like our videos and um, we will post more in due course. Watch these puppies grow up, up from birth to eight weeks old. Thank you very much. I will leave you with pictures now of the newborn pups. Thank you. Bye bye.